dear students today i am going to discuss the fire analyzer general characteristic features and examples of fire analyzer the fire analyzer commonly known as analyzers they are characterized by the presence of segmented body they are characterized by the presence of segmented body the body is externally as well as internally divided into segments many number of segments or metamers metamers of segments in the latin annulus means the ring annulus means ring like so anery means so it is a latin word its meaning is animals with the segments which appears as annulus or ring like so the segments which appears on their body appears as rings concentric rings okay that's why these animals are said to be anelidans or phylum anelida okay the anelids are aquatic they are found in the fresh water as well as marine in marine habitat and terrestrial terrestrial they are also found on land and few are parasitic few are parasitic parasites they are living inside the body of host okay the anelids are triploblastic they are triploblastic body wall consists of three layer then bilateral symmetrical bilateral symmetrical the body is symmetrical is bilateral symmetry and zero means zero means the body cavity present in that body is zero it is zero next anelids exhibits organ grade of body organization organ grade of body organization body organization is organ grade organ and organ system are found systems are found in the body of anelids okay then the body wall as well as organs contains circular and longitudinal muscles or muscle layers which helps in the locomotion which helps in locomotion which helps in locomotion okay aquatic anelids like nearis aquatic anelids for example nearis nearis is an is aquatic anelid and this nearis possesses a lateral appendages lateral appendages known as 
Parabolia. Parabolia, which helps in swimming. Parabolia are swimming or in aquatic and in it like nearest, like nearest. Then circulatory system is closed type of circulatory system. Circulatory system is closed type. Circulatory system is closed type. The circulating fluid is flowing inside the closed circuit of blood vessels. Closed circuit of blood vessel and is pumped by pumping organ heart. So this type of circulatory system is known as closed type of circulatory system. Closed type of circulatory system means the circulating fluid which flows inside the closed circuit of blood vessels. Closed circuit of blood vessels. So this type of circulatory system is found in anaerobes. Found in anaerobes. Then nephrilia. Nephrilia are the excretory organ. Excretory organ in the anaerobes. Nephrilia. Coiled structure, highly coiled tubules present in the uh, in the body inside the body. They act as excretory organs. They are involved in the, the elimination of nitrogenous waste materials. Nitrogenous waste materials. In some uh, analysis, for example, uh, in earthworks, there are three types of nitrogen depending on their structure. They are septal nephridia, integumental nephridia, and parenchymal nephridia. They are structurally small differences are there uh, between these three types of nephridia. nephridia. However, all these types of nephridia are involved in the nitrogen excretion. They act as excretory organs. Then, nervous system. Consists of paraganglion. Paraganglion, which are connected by lateral nerves, which are connected by nerves, lateral nerves. And these ganglions, along with the paralateral nerves, constitute the ventral nerve board. Ventral nerve cord. The nerve cord is ventral in position. So these ganglions as well as nerve cords and nerves, that nerves constitute the nervous system. Nervous system. It constitutes the nervous system in anaerobes. Then Anaerobes are monoecious as well as dioecious. Monoecious and dioecious. Monoecious and dioecious. For example, nearis. They are bisexual. That means monoecious. Monoecious. Monoecious means bisexual. Monoecious means bisexual. Some animals are bisexual. That means both male and female reproductive organs are situated in the same individual. Example, 
is uh, earth one and leech and unisexual unisexual means male and females are separate male and females are separate example is nevis 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 this is an example for unisexual anatomy then earthworm and leaves are the examples of bisexual anatomies fertilization is internal fertilization is internal and reproduction is sexual method it reproduces by sexual method okay So these are the important general characteristic features of phylum and genera. Phylum and genera. Examples are earthworm, which is commonly known as farmer's friend, found in the upper layer of the soil. Upper layers of the soil it feeds on decaying uh, food materials, decaying uh, bark or uh, leaves, etc. Then. leech leech is an ectoparasite leech is an ectoparasite a parasite in form of annelid and it usually is found attached to the external body surface of cattle or uh, any other mammals present in the forest as well as moist places so this leech usually possesses suckers it possesses suckers anterior sucker as well as posterior sucker this is a posterior sucker and here is the anterior sucker with the help of this sucker so this leech feeds on blood of the host so leech is a sanguivorous sanguivorous parasite sanguivorous animal sanguivorous means parasite which feeds on blood blood feeding blood feeding parasites are sanguivorous so leech it will it gets attached to the external body surface of cattle or any other forest animals and it will suck the blood it will suck the blood of the host body okay another example is nevis an aquatic animal needs okay so these are the few examples of phylum annelida phylum annelida okay so just you record your memory once again the annelids are animals with the body segments of metamers their body is divided into many number of rings or segments and these rings or segments are appears as segments appear as annulus or rings that's why the name annelida is derived then they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic metamerically segmented and it exhibits organ grade of organization organ grade of organization then they are zero based the body cavity is zero and uh, then the body wall contains circular as well as the uh, longitudinal muscle layer which helps in locomotion the aquatic annelids for example nevis possess a lateral appendage like appendages known as parapodia which is helpful in swimming then uh, uh, circulatory system consists of This system is closed type. The circulatory system is closed type. Then excretory organs are nephridia. Then nervous system consists of paraglia, which are connected by lamellas, and thereby forms the ventral nerve cord. Then reproduction is sexual, and some animals are bisexual. Uh, 
example is curved bandage and two and it's a unisexual example is nearest okay then examples of anemones are twelve leaves and nearest so this is about the general characters and examples of phylum anelida phylum anelida the next phylum is phylum arthropoda arthropods are animals with the jointed appendages animals with jointed appendages jointed appendages animals with jointed appendages are known as arthropods so this phylum is the biggest phylum in the animal kingdom it is the biggest phylum it is the biggest phylum in the animal kingdom it includes more than lakhs of species more than lakhs of species lack of species and the arthropods are terrestrial aquatic both freshwater and marine water then parasites parasitic some arthropods are parasites and some arthropods acts as pest pest some are pest okay then the arthropods are triploblastic they are triploblastic bilateral symmetrical bilaterally symmetrical bilaterally symmetrical then zero mates with segmented with segmented bodies with segmented body body segment is that They are zero mates. Their body cavity is zero. Okay. Then, arthropods exhibits organ, organ grade of body organization. Their body organization is organ grade of. body organization organ grade of body organization okay then animals with jointed appendages body appendages are jointed appendages animals with jointed appendages some members of arthropods shows jointed appendages or chelated chelated are found in insects especially some uh, insects the legs are chelated they are also jointed appendages okay then the body wall is covered by the body has or body wall has chitinous exoskeleton the body wall has chitinous exoskeleton the exoskeleton or body wall has protective covering that is acts as exoskeleton and this exoskeleton is made up of chitin it is made up of 
hygiene which gives protection to their body protections to their body okay then respiratory organs in our flow pores Arthropods are gills, book gills, book lungs, and trachea. Trachea system. So respiratory organs are gills. Usually. Gills are possessed by aquatic arthropods, aquatic arthropods, book gills and book lungs, book lungs, book gills are also found in the aquatic arthropods, book lungs and tracheal system, in the, the trachea are the straight organ in the terrestrial, they yeah. are uh, book lungs and tracheal system or trachea are the respiratory organ in the Terrestrial arthropods. Terrestrial arthropods. Okay. Then circulatory system is open type. Open type of circulatory system. Open type of circulatory system. So in open type of circulatory system. The circulating fluid is flowing in the body, in the spaces, in the spaces present in the body, and these spaces are known as sinuses. They are known as sinuses. There is no closed circuit of blood vessels are found in the arteries. So, this type of uh, circulatory system is known as open type of circulatory system found in the arthropods then specialized sense organs sensory organs specialized sense organs like uh, antenna antenna then uh, eyes both simple eyes and compound eyes and simple eyes simple eyes and compound eyes then statosis statosis this is the organ of balance organ of Balance or balancing organ statuses are present. Organs are present. So sense organs which is found in arthropods are antenna, pad structure. Antenna are that they are usually present in the anterior portion of the body. Anterior portion of the body. Antenna. Then eyes. They may be simple eyes or compound eyes, and statuses are that. Then the entire body of uh, the arthropod is divided into uh, three regions. Body is divided into three regions: head, anterior portion, head, then thorax, middle portion, and abdomen. So these are the three regions of their body: head, anterior portion, middle portion is the thorax, and abdomen is the posterior portion of the body. Okay. Then, malnutrition tubes are the excretory organs. Malnutrition. 
tubules and coxal glands. Coxal glands are the excretory organs. So, macrium tubules are the yellowish color, bunch of minute hair like yellowish color tubules found attached to the uh, digestive system in cockroach. For example, they are the excretory organs, they are involved in the removal of nitrogen excretory substances, nitrogenous excretory substances. Then, most of the arthropods are dioecious. They are dioecious or unisexual. Unisexual. Then uh, fertilization is internal. Usually it is internal. Unisexual. Fertilization is internal. And uh, Orthopods are oviparous. They lay eggs. They lay eggs. Then development may be direct or indirect. Direct or indirect. Development may be direct. Or indirect. Okay, so uh, these are the important uh, characteristic features of phylum Arthropoda. Phylum Arthropoda. So you remember, arthropods are distinct from other animals by the presence of jointed appendages. By the presence of jointed appendages, and it is the biggest phylum. It is the biggest phylum in the animal kingdom. So this phylum includes a variety or it exhibits great diversity because some are aquatic, some are terrestrial and some acts as host, uh, sorry, pests and some acts as parasites. Okay, then examples of uh, examples of the arthropods. Then, economically important insects. Examples of the arthropod. Economically important insects. Honey bees, which gives honey. Silkworm. Bombyx mori. Scientific name is Bombyx mori. So, this is a silkworm. Uh, secret seal. Okay. Then, lag insects. Lucifer. I am sorry, Laxifer. Laxifer is the name of the lag insects. So, it produces the lag. Then, gregarious insects like locust. You might have heard about the swarming of locust. Swarming of locust. So, the locusts are the, actually they are the pest of the paddy. Uh, padding ground and some insects act as vectors they transmit the disease causing the pathogens disease causing pathogens for example mosquitoes mosquitoes are generally considered as vectors example anopheles female anopheles mosquito then Culex edis then uh, another variety of uh, arthropods are Living fossils, living fossils. Example is the king crab or lingulus. So, the living fossils uh, uh, are the very animals which are still existing uh, on the earth, but they retain their ancestral characteristic features even now also. That's why they are known as living fossils. Best example is Limulus or King Crab, a marine crab. Apart from this, uh, uh, butterflies, scorpions, 
so we are all familiar with these examples these insects uh, butterfly scorpion then prawn prawns so these are the some examples of animals which comes under phylum arthropoda okay